Hey guys, so Thursday is here uh, and the workout we got for you today is a nice sort of little bit on the shorter side, um, looking to keep our intensity nice and high. Um, so we're going to do a 10 minute AMRAP, um, so as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes of three power cleans uh, and then 50 double unders. Okay, so power clean first of all, let's talk about that. Um, obviously only three reps here, so that means that we're going to be going relatively heavy. So we've prescribed a load here of 80 kilos for the guys uh, and 60 kilos for the girls. And like I said, that is a sort of reasonably heavy load. Obviously it shouldn't be maximal in, in any kind of way. Um, there shouldn't be any sort of danger of us missing a rep, um, but it should be heavy enough for us to really sort of stop and think and have to break those up into singles. Um, and it's not a case that we can just sort of stand by it and just rip it up to our shoulders. We've got to try and move it well um, because it's got to be heavy load. So I want us to sort of challenge ourselves on that. Um, if you wanted like a kind of guideline, I would say around about sort of 75 to 80% of your best um, power clean um, is probably what you can aim to try and use. Um, but something like I said, that is going to force you to kind of slow you down a little bit and force you to move really, really well. Into those then 50 double unders, this is where we kind of maintain our heart rate um, and keep moving and get that kind of conditioning sort of element of it. Um, so if we do those 50 double unders, then great. It'll take us probably around about 30 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds if we go relatively unbroken. Um, if we're still on our way to double unders, then this is a great time to practice, obviously, and we can spend a minute accumulating as many reps as we can or getting some really good practice in. Uh, make sure it's something that you can be successful with, whether it is sort of double single, double single, that kind of thing, um, or double attempts or we're going for those high single skips. All great practice in my, in my book, um, but what you don't want to do is just spend a minute of whiffing yourself and then we're not getting better because we're just practicing whiffing ourselves uh, and that's not what we want, okay? So if we sort of take all of that into consideration, what we'll then find is that we should be looking at least, at least at, uh, five rounds, um, which should obviously be around every two minutes. Okay, which obviously leaves us a minute for our double unders, a minute for our power cleans. Um, but I do think that it is possible to go a little bit quicker than that, have a little bit more of a cycle rate. Um, if we get those power cleans done in sort of 30 seconds and you go for your double unders done in around about sort of 30, 40 seconds, then you're gonna be looking at close to sort of seven or eight, maybe even beyond eight rounds, um, I think. An absolute ninja going crazy, crazy fast. Um, maybe I'd get close to 10 rounds, um, but I think that would definitely be challenging. You have to really be going so. After we finish that, okay, so after our 7 minute wrap, we're going to do some corrective exercise for our accessories. Um, so we're going to do a nine minute EMOM. So, minute number one, we're going to do five paused front squats, okay, so we're going to strip our bar down. Um, I would just use an empty bar, or maybe a light bar, but something we can take off the floor, obviously. Um, we're going to get into a really nice position. Drop down and then hold for three seconds in the bottom, keeping those elbows high, maintaining a really nice active position, and then obviously standing tall for five reps. Um, minute number two, we're going to do a movement that maybe not many of us have done so far, um, and that's going to be a landmine sort of single arm bent over row. Um, so what we can do for that is basically we can sort of chock our bar um, between two plates to make sure it doesn't move around, um, and then yeah, we're into our hinge position, and then we basically means that our, our row comes all the bar is on a pivot um so yeah should be a good a good for us to try um so that's what we're gonna do in minute two um, i think it's eight reps on each side um and then minute number three uh we're looking at some 10 dumbbell side bends there you go it was in there somewhere um so yeah 10 dumbbell side bends on each side obviously you can grab a dumbbell you can grab a kettlebell um whatever you can you can even hold a plate if you really want get a little bit of sort of pinch pinch training as well um, but yeah Move through those, uh, just obviously a nice sort of steady kind of pace um, to work on these sort of different movements, that kind of thing. All right, so hope you enjoyed it, team. That's Thursday for us. Um, it should be a good one. These sort of workouts are, are, are pretty good fun, I sort of think. Um, it should set us nicely up, ready for Friday.